How's it going folks and welcome to McAfee Magic, a brand new cryptocurrency trading platform. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up an automatic trade. If you're looking for a video on how to set up an account or how to deposit funds into your account, there are already some videos out there that explain how to do this. So again in this video I'm going to focus on setting up the auto trade feature. Before we get into that, just answer some questions that you may be having about this exchange. Uh, one being, what is the purpose of McAfee Magic? Magic allows you to trade cryptocurrencies on multiple exchanges within a single dashboard automatically and manually. Another big question you may be asking, is McAfee Magic in relation to the real John McAfee? The answer is yes, of course. It's only the second software to be worthy of the McAfee brand. Another question you may be asking, are my funds directly stored on McAfee Magic? The answer is, when using Magic, your funds are always on your exchange. The only funds on the platform are used to fuel the trades. So that means if you are trading on Binance and you have a Binance API set up on McAfee Magic, your funds are stored on Binance. Again, the only funds stored on McAfee Magic are the ones used to fuel the trades. So what is the fuel that allows these trades to happen? That is ARB. ARB is an ERC20 token which fuels the trade functions. Arbitraging and McAfee have partnered to deliver you McAfee Magic. So looking at the actual exchange, you see this drop down menu right here. This allows you to choose the different exchanges that you want to be trading on through this dashboard. So you click on the drop down menu and you have all of these exchanges to choose from and it's as easy as entering your API and your secret key and then that account will be connected to McAfee Magic to allow you to perform trades on that exchange. McAfee Magic also has a very unique feature in that they allow you to practice trading cryptocurrency. If you click on practice up here, it'll take you to this menu here. From within the practice portal, you can select the cryptocurrency you want to hold, you can select the amount you want to hold, and then you can actually trade that cryptocurrency at real time market prices and risk zero real money. This is a great tool for beginners. It's a great tool for new people to cryptocurrency that are interested in trading it but are not interested in losing real money. So this is a great tool for people to use to practice trading cryptocurrency and see how you would perform at real time real market prices. To add funding to your practice account, you simply click on this funding button right here. You click the exchange that you want to trade on, Binance, Kraken, or Hit BTC. I'm going to be using Hit BTC in this example. In this example, my currency that I will be using is Digibyte, and the amount that I will be depositing is 50,000 Digibyte. Now again, this is not real money. It's practice money for practice purposes only. So once the amount of cryptocurrency you have is shown up in your balance, you are free to practice trading it any way you want. You can set a limit order, market order, stop loss, auto sell and buy, trailing sell and buy, and set up the auto trade feature. Again, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up that auto trade feature. Now please keep in mind, I am not a professional trader. The numbers I will be entering in this section here may not be the best for an actual trade in real life. So if you are an experienced trader and you see these numbers uh, that I'm entering and they are a terrible trade, there's no need to be hateful in the comments. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes only, so please do not use the numbers that I am putting in here as a trade because there's no guarantee that it will actually be successful. So setting up the auto trade is very simple to do. You simply put your buy price for this example, I'm going to be putting 0.012. I'm going to set my sell price since it is at 0.014 at the moment. I'm going to set my sell price at 0.016. Then I'm going to set my stop loss. Now your stop loss has to be less than the amount of your buy price. So my stop loss is going to be 0.011. Again, last step, you need to enter the quantity. Since my balance is 50,000 Digibyte, I'm gonna be trading 25,000 Digibyte in this example. I'm going to select the auto trade trailing feature and then simply click place order. So now my order has been placed. You can see that my uh, when you click on the open orders here, it will show the details of the trade. Uh, I'm trading Digibyte against true US dollars. It is an auto trade. It shows you your sell price, your buy price, and your stop loss amount. So again, this is a very cool feature having this practice portal built into the exchange that allows new traders to gain confidence and get comfortable with the whole trading process. And it allows you to 
potentially lose money, but not real money at the same time as a learning experience. So that will wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.